Day 986 of the Trump administration, and the president is clearly, deeply troubled by the escalating impeachment inquiry that's headed his way. We've seen him invoke coups and witch hunts and hoaxes just this week. But today it all came out while the president of Finland was next to him. We don't call him shifty shift for nothing. He's a shifty, dishonest guy who, by the way, was critical of one of the great secretary of states. He can't, you know, there's an expression. He couldn't carry his blank strap. He should resign from office in disgrace. And frankly, they should look at him for treason. They've been trying to impeach me from the day I got elected. I've been going through this for three years. He either got it totally wrong, made it up, or the person giving the information to the whistleblower was dishonest. And this country has to find out who that person was, because that person's a spy, in my opinion. Nancy Pelosi hands out subpoenas like, you know, she has to approve it. She hands out subpoenas like they're cookies. You want a subpoena? Here you go, take them. Believe it or not, I watch my words very carefully. There are those that think I'm a very stable genius, okay? I watch my words very, very closely. So before we heard that, Trump slammed the Democrats for, quote, wasting everyone's time and energy on BS, the polite form of the word he used. Tonight, there is new reporting on this story involving Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, and Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, because actually it's been months since we heard his name. He's currently in the slammer as a federal inmate. The Washington Post reports that Giuliani has told them that in recent months he's, quote, consulted several times with Manafort through the federal prisoner's lawyer in pursuit of information that would bolster his theory that the real story of 2016 is not Russian interference to elect Trump, but Ukrainian efforts to support Hillary Clinton. The Post adds that it's all still about Mueller. The alliance stems from a shared interest in a narrative that undermines the rationale for the special counsel investigation. The Post also reports that Trump involved his vice president in efforts to pressure the president of Ukraine to dig up dirt on Joe Biden. But the paper says aides close to Pence, quote, insist that he was unaware of Trump's efforts. Peace goes on to say, quote, one of Pence's top advisors was on the July 25th call, and the vice president should have had access to the transcript within hours. Today, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo confirmed that he was listening in on that same call. First time we've heard him publicly address since the report surfaced that he had heard of Trump's, uh, heard the telephone conversation that Trump had with the president of Ukraine. There is also new reporting on the whistleblower's efforts to get his concerns about Trump and Ukraine to Congress. The New York Times writes, House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff received an early account of the accusations against the president before the official whistleblower complaint was filed. Indeed, it should be pointed out, whistleblowers often come to congressional committees first. The whistleblower in this case, quote, approached a House Intelligence Committee aide with his concerns about Mr. Trump only after he had had a colleague first convey them to the CIA's top lawyer. The aide shared some of what the officer conveyed to Mr. Schiff. Schiff's spokesman says the whistleblower's identity was never made known, that he was told to file his complaint through the proper channels, and Schiff never saw the complaint in advance. Here, however, is what Trump said when asked about this reporting on Schiff. I think it's a scandal that he knew before. I go a step further. I think he probably helped write it. Okay? That's what the word is. It's a scam. It's a scam. Today, House Democrats said they would subpoena White House officials by Friday of this week if their demands for documents on Ukraine are not met. And there was this warning to the administration from the aforementioned Adam Schiff. We're not fooling around here. They just need to know that even as they try to undermine our ability to find the facts around the president's effort to coerce a foreign leader, leader to create uh, dirt that he can use against the political opponent, um, that they will be strengthening the case on obstruction if they uh, behave that way. Earlier today, Trump was asked by a Reuters reporter, Jeff Mason, to explain exactly what he wanted from the president of Ukraine, and it left us with this exchange. 
Mr. President, can you just make clear right here, what do you or what did you want President Zelensky to do with regard to Joe and Hunter Biden? What I was having a problem with are two things. Number one, Ukraine is known before him for ter tremendous corruption. Tremendous. More than just about any country in the world. What about, what about Mr. Biden? What, what did you want about Biden? What did you want him to look into on Biden? Look, Biden and his son are stone cold crooked. No. The question, sir, was what did you want President Zelensky to do about Pres Vice President Biden and his son, Hunter? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you it was just a follow-up of what I just asked listen, you, sir. Listen, listen. You ready? We have the president of Finland. Ask him a question. I'm giving you a long answer. Ask <laughs> this gentleman a question. Don't be rude. No, sir, I don't want to be rude. I just wanted you to have a chance to answer the question that I asked I've you. I've answered everything. It's a whole hoax. And you know who's playing into the hoax? People like you and the fake news media that we have in this country. And I say, in many cases, the corrupt media, because you're corrupt. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.